Hey everyone, it is Tensi Taylor with richgirlnetwork.tv. I am here at Sony Picture Studios for the 10th annual Evening Under the Stars. We are really under the stars tonight. It is going to be a fabulous evening. And tonight is all about the Special Needs Network. And this organization was founded by Ariba Martin. And she has such a passion and unequivocal desire to make sure that those who have special needs, particularly autism, have the same education as every other child here in America. It is a star-studded red carpet, so make sure you stay tuned and follow me. your day because you were just honored earlier at the lady first lady's high tea correct that's correct yeah. and now you're being honored tonight yes, yes. how are you feeling well I'm feeling honored that, that people think enough of the work that we're doing uh, to uh, salute the efforts and I uh, take it as motivation to work a little bit harder and so I'm grateful to all those who have said to me thank you for the work you're doing Thank you for the team of people who surround you and cause good things to happen for the entire community and beyond. Now share with us some of the great things that you are doing in the community. Well, um, it's not just me. It's um, uh, people like those who are part of the Special Needs Network uh, from Reva Martin and her board to Bonnie and Cheryl and all and Mary Lee and all the staff and volunteers as well who said that the children and families who know of the issue of autism intimately uh, deserve all of what we can give them to live full lives and so I'm just weighing in as a result of that call and we hope to do great things uh, even greater things um, than have been done uh, and if we are successful, we will open the first um, early diagnosis center for children who are uh, on the spectrum uh, at the Martin Luther King Medical Campus. And it will be the first of its kind in the state of California. So that's what we're working for. And so our work is hardly done. We have a lot more to do. And I'm just glad to be on the team to do it. One last question for you. You know Ms. Ariva Martin very well. What are two adjectives you would use to describe her? Well, I think she is determined as anyone that I've ever seen. And uh, she is equally uh, giving of herself, of her talents, of her intellect, of her resources. And so I think uh, those are two very important characteristics that define who she is and she has made us better because of it. Well, thank you so much Mr. Mark Ridley Thomas. Thank Enjoy you. your evening. <laughs> Hi Judy Bell, how are you tonight? I'm doing fine. How are you? I'm so excited to be here with yeah. Special Needs Network 10th anniversary. Can you believe that? It's just unbelievable. 10 years of really serving the community and California Wellness Foundation, where I'm the president and CEO, we're just delighted to have been a supporter and an advocate, but Ariva Energy has just made it so, such a terrific effort. So, I mean, it's such a beautiful night here under the stars, you're ecstatic. What are you looking forward to most about this evening? Well, I'm looking forward to getting my groove on a little. That's what I'm looking forward to. I mean, isn't it great to groove and be here for a good cause and with the community and celebrating? You know, what more can you ask for on a Saturday night? Okay. I am here with the beautiful April Russell. How are you feeling this evening to support this cause? I am feeling uh, absolutely amazing. 
I'm a, you know, the calls are so important to me. I was just telling some friends behind me that I was stuck in Moscow Airport for 13 hours. But certainly, I know this is a big event. It's the 10th anniversary. It's a milestone. So, uh, and the calls is for a good cause. So, definitely wanted to make it. So, have you, or do you know anyone who is special needs or has autism? I do. I actually know there's another good program right here in Culver City um, that supports like a summer camp for autism children that I do some work with, and that's always good. I'm going. Growing up, I had two or three people in my neighborhood that had autism, and that was when it was really new. Um, and so there wasn't a lot of, certainly wasn't anything like this, right? And um, a lot of programs like that. So it's it's nice to know that um, we're educating ourselves and getting more sensitive and compassionate towards those special needs. What do you find most inspiring about working with or being around those with special needs? The ability to go on despite of. You know, the ability not to complain despite of, and it's, it's a big flashlight to us in our daily lives and how we tend to complain.